Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. It's five o'clock, and guess what? Ba -ba -ba. It's new supplier time, and I have been so excited about this. Once I was, I was handed my schedule late last week. It arrived by pigeon. I know we still use pigeons. Uh, and then I saw it. I thought, yes, we've got Curry Bay Show. And then I thought that question that we all ask out there. You're thinking, Curry? It's too hot for me. I can't be doing curries. It's the spice. It's, the, it's, it's just not for me. Give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes of your time and I'm going to change your perception of homemade curry. I know. Homemade. Everything that you see in front of me will be sent to you. I've got different potions, I've got different packages, and I've got different bundles to show you. But before we do any of that, let me introduce the two guests where really it all started from. And the backstory to this is genius. It really, really is. Uh, we've got Gurdjieff and Sinram on the show. Good afternoon. How are we both? Uh, Very you're well, right. thanks. I'm good. Thank you really well. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the wonderful world of Achanda, first of all. Cheers. But how, how did it all start? So it started about 10 years ago now. OK. Pretty much the day, to be honest. And um, it started with me at uni, um, as all good stories do at uni. And um, I had uh, mum was sending some, some curry packs up to me. Um, while I was sort of studying and I um, yeah I was doing you know I was, I was really kind of um, making up my chicken curries my lamb curries and my friends cottoned on to what I was doing so I I basically they started stealing it from me so I sold it to them um, and we, we st it started getting more and more popular I think the penny sort of dropped I had a couple of lads who knocked on my door and said are you the lad that does the curry can we have a bit of that yeah or yeah we'll have it you know and then I got away with it for about three or four weeks. Mum didn't know what, she, what was going on. And I sort of said, just send a bit more up, send a bit more. I wasn't putting the weight on, so she, <laughs> she kind of, yeah. And that's how we got going. And so from that story of it, your mother sending you to university in little Tupperware packages, basically just for you to live on, and it was your yeah. staple food, you've now come to a, what we've known as a family business, you could say, to what we've got now. but. That wall, I'm going to play devil's advocate throughout the show because that's, that's more or less what I'm here for. I'm here to, to play both sides, as it were, because I'm exactly the same as you. I was quite, you know, your oh, curry show, is it going to be one of those? What we're getting in here, though, is not what you would necessarily buy in your big, in your big stores, like your Sainsbury's, your Asda's and your Absolutely. Tesco's, would it? Yeah. This is homegrown, there's no preservatives, no additives, there's no water in there either. It's not just absolutely. filled up with water. Yeah, absolutely. So we've really stuck to back in those days when mum was sending me proper homemade food, proper homemade curry, that's exactly what you've got in these jars. There's no difference. There's no, as you said, there's no additives, no E-numbers, no sugars, um, no gluten, no dairy, no nuts. Um, and, and it's important, you know, when people think of curry, they think of the restaurants and they think of really spicy curries. Uh, to be honest, Adam, I'll give you my interpretation yeah, on it. On. The restaurants make more money out of beer and drinks than they do anything else. And how do you get people to drink more beer and drinks? You make the food spicier. Make the food spicier. We don't do, like, do that at home. So if people out there are looking for, oh, well, you know, how, how does home cooked food taste like? What's the real thing? If I went to India, what really is it like? then you need to, need to have a try of these. And that's what you need to do. We're very busy already. We knew we would be right. Then let's go through your bundle, shall we, first. So let's kick off. Item numbers 645070 is your item number. That's the same item number for the three different variants that I have in front of me. £14.99 is what you're looking at at the moment. Right then, we'll start on the top. Your top row, this is... This is your mild collection. So you've got your classic curry paste in there as well. So you've got your classic curry paste, then you've got your buttered chicken. So beautiful smell, and we'll, we'll ask all the questions, how does this all work? Then we've got our marinade as well. So you've got your garlic infused, and then you've got tandoori style. So now start thinking barbecues. Start thinking those marinades overnight for those parties, and how else are you going to achieve it? You've got your marinades there already. Then we moved out, oh, I love these. You've got your chutneys. These are like your hamper fillers. These are the ones that you're going to put in there just to fill that hamper, and people are going to go, oh, where did you get them from? Well, now you know, you've got them here. So with your chutneys you've got in there, you have got your sweet mango. We all love a bit of sweet mango. Oh, we all love a bit of this. And then you've got your poppadom chutney as well. 
First bundle, this is your mild £14.99 and 99 pence. 645070 is your item number. That is your mild. We move down to your medium. If you like that little bit of kick. Now, when we talk medium, I know it's like, how long is a piece of string? How hot are we talking yeah. when we're talking so medium? To, so if we go back to that restaurant style, if you could do perhaps um, a tikka masala, bolti style, oh, okay. heat, something like that then yeah, because there is also a difference between different types of heat. So if anybody's ever put something in their mouth and it goes bang, it's just hot, just heat, no flavour, we tend to think that's chilli powder. We don't use any of that. There's none of that here at all. Even in our hotter stuff, it's still all about the flavour. So ours is all fresh chilli. So if you want a little bit of a medium, you'll get lots of flavour, um, and a bit of heat at the back, just to let you know, yeah, you're having a little bit. You're having that, and that's what we've got in our next kit. So these are your medium kits. This time, you are getting your uh, chicken masala, uh, the tikka masala that's in there. You're getting your classic as well. Once again, your classic curry sauce in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then you're getting your marinades in this. This time you're getting your, your tandoori and you're getting your garlic infused as well. But this time the chutneys are slightly different. You're getting your poppadom, but this time we're getting mango and apple. Oh my word. Um, I wonder where these are going. I might open these during the show and just start eating with a spoon. Uh, so, no, I'm going to eat it with a spoon. Uh, so you've got differentness in here as well. These are your mediums we're looking at at the moment as well. And then if you want a bit of a kick, if you like the spice, if you like the power, and remember, we're talking about, we're not talking about artificial flour. We're, as, as we just said, this is homegrown. It's going to be, you're going to get those home flavours like you've cooked it for yourself from the basics, but you've not. You've slightly cheated because you've got it here all for you. So now we go to your hot. So... There's no chilli powder in here. So what is it that's giving us the heat if there's not the chilli powder in there and so, things like that? So simply, Adam, it's fresh chilies. Okay. Real fresh, real proper chilli. So there's a lot of people that grow their own chilies at home and you'll get the flavours and, and a taste of those chilies rather than just heat. And it's, it's exactly that. So, and also, there is a difference between having something laced with chilli and something with a bit of chilli to help the flavour and help it Bit as, as a whole so it is you know you've got to like it hot to like the hot pack but I like it quite spicy and it's it's honestly it's yeah it's nicely balanced really flavoursome and proper stuff give it a go give it a go so right let's go through what we're getting this time so this time we are getting your oh your naga chili in there now we are talking extra hot, but this time you see you've got the chili raising down the bottom. We're talking your naga chili in the hot. We've got your uh, classic in the hot as well. The smells in the studio at the moment are phenomenal. And then we've got your tandoori and your garlic once again in there. But now once again, we've got a slightly different. We've got your sweet mango. I'm dying to open these. And then you've got your tangy lime pickles in there as well. A beautiful little kit if you like gifting. Uh, I know I'm going to use it. We've got Christmas coming up. I know we're not allowed to use the word, but we've got Christmas coming up. At these sorts of prices, what a little gift. What a bottom drawer gift that we've got at the moment as well. So, in the heart that we're looking at, it's apple. Oh, it's apple and mango that you're getting in here as well. So it's apple and mango and sweet lime is what you're getting. So it's apple and mango that's in there uh, and the sweet lime as well. So it's them two that you're getting in there as well. Oh, what a surprise. Sweet mango chutney just for me. So how did that happen? Uh, so you're getting, so this is the one now, so you get them in both of them. Okay, so this one here will come in both, though. this one is your mango and apple, will come in your mild, in your medium, and it will also come in your hot as well. Uh, which one do you go for? This is, the, this is the troubling thing. Which one do you go for? Now you've got all three options at £14.99. 645070 is your item number. Nearly 20% of the mild and the medium have already gone and you've not seen a single jar being opened. Hmm, maybe soon. But uh, it's for £14.99. Right then, let's go to a bundle. If you want a bit of everything, 
If you want to, you want a bit of this and you want a bit of that, you're thinking 14 pounds, 99 pence. I'd like to go for all three, but I'd just like something together. We've got that as well. We've got that bundle that's going to add everything to you. So in this, you are getting the be a bit of everything in here. Let's go across the bottom so we can see what we're getting in there. So we're getting your buttered chicken in your mild curry sauce. So that is your medium curry sauce. Then we've got your mild curry sauce in there. Then we've got the bit of heat for someone that likes it. So maybe you're going to be gifting it. Maybe you're going to be keeping it for yourself. You've got that naga chili in there. Then you've got your keema in there. Not in any of the other kits. This is the only way you can get the keema now is by going for this bundle. We've then got Oh, here we go. Bombay potatoes. You can't go wrong. You imagine doing these, but traditional Bombay potatoes, not like you've tried anywhere else. Then we're moving to your chutneys. So this time you're getting uh, the lime pickles in there. You're getting the sweet mango chutney. You're getting your Papa Dom chutney in there as well. All three. You haven't got a pick. We move to the top row. Then we go for your marinade. So we've got your garlic infused in there. You've got your tandoori in there as well. Your classic and also your chili as well. Once again, you're getting all three. You haven't got to decide. Work your palate up. Start with the mild and work up to that extra heart. And then you get a rice kit thrown in as well. So with with the rice kit, what are we getting in the rice kit? Because if you're sitting there and you think, well, I've got rice in a bag, I can boil it up. Yeah. What's the difference? So with this the rice, rice kit um, has it has a, um, a unique sort of paste, a bit, a bit of a, a jar in there, and it's got all your onions and your spices and everything sort of chopped up in there, ready to go. So you, you literally pour your rice in with your water, and you tip this magical jar into the mix, stir it through, and it makes you perfect Punjabi rice every time. Oh, my word. It's unbelievable. It yeah, so Let's open it. It's quite oh, you unique. make it now? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, this is, this is like heaven. You get that magic heaven, little jar, so you pop that straight into the pan first, heat it up, and then add your uh, rice. Pre-wash the rice a little bit, just to get that starch off a little bit. Pop the rice in, and then add a pint of water to it. And, then and you're it good to go? Through. That's it. You see? All of this is there. Um, do we get full instructions as well with the rice and that sort of stuff, or is it sort of common knowledge? How would we find no. what we would do and how we use it? So everything, everything you need is, is on the back of that pack there, or on the side of the pack, instructions-wise. Which is one of the most common questions we're asked, actually, or my mum's asked, um, is how do you make good rice? How do you not get it to stick together? How do you not get it to stick to the bottom? And we're, the way we go is, it's actually, if you get the top grade rice, which this is, the best rice you can buy, um, this will, you know, it's very forgiving and it's got the best instructions there where, the, you know, it will keep it absolutely right for you. All the instructions, as we've said, everything um, is on the back of the packaging. From your marinades to the jars themselves, they are all there. £28.98 will get you the best of everything. 898280 is your item number. If you've never shopped with us before, let's see how you choose your options. Maybe you've never been to our website. This is how you do. So you scroll to today's show. We'll be live if you're on the app. And then you'll see everything you included. There's your price. And then... You've got your medium, you've got your mild in there, then you've got your hot as well. If you want more of a description, you just press full description. It'll give you more of a blurb on the products that we've actually got. Then you simply click add to basket. Once you've added it to basket, you can choose more than one. Feel free. If you want to go for a whole range, you can go for the whole range as well. Then check out your basket, sit back and wait and enjoy. You are in for a treat. Medium is the most popular so far with the kits themselves. Um, Nearly a third of the medium now has already gone. So we're very busy on that medium kit. Get in while you can. £14.99 is what you're looking at. Um, this is These prices aren't going to stay around. They're brand new suppliers. They're, they're launching today on Hachanda. And this is going to be one of those things that just grows and grows and grows. We've started small, but this is going to go a long way. Right then. You've heard me blabber on about what you can get, but we actually want to see how easy it is to put dishes together. And let's hand over now to see how actually easy it is. If you've got any questions throughout the hour as well, studio at achanda.com. Uh, email in your questions and we'll ask you questions accordingly. Right then, what would you like to show me first? 
Yep. So Sorry. what I've been doing is I've just popped the rice in. That was that Punjabi rice kit in here, and that's bubbling away. So you get that little magic pot, just pop it straight in, um, and then add your pre-washed rice into that and let it pop away on a slow, simmered heat on that one. And that's literally it for that one. Um, here in this pan, I've got some kima curry. So this one's our medium jar, um, probably on that kit there. So all I've done is just pop this straight into the pan here, heated it up, then added my pre-cooked mince here, but you don't have to pre-cook your mince. You can add it straight raw as well. Gives it a nice sort of flavour as well. Um, and then just added a handful of peas, because that's a traditional sort of method. Yeah, of you get kima do peas, it. don't you, in the... In the um in the restaurants and, and various people get keema peas and they go hand in hand really, Adam. Yeah, they're yeah. really good. Yeah, So awesome. all I've done is just pop it all together and left it on um, a bit of a medium heat and just let it sort of bubble through. And as you can see, it's kind of already cooked, cooked up and it smells absolutely great as well. So the studio, the smells in the studio <laughs> is phenomenal. They really, really are. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually make a keema curry base um, naan pizza. Oh, so here we, here we <laughs> go. <Yeah>. A curry <laughs> you didn't pizza. Say this in yes. <laughs> so let me just get the. I popped the naan bread already in the um, in the oven just to give it a little bit of warm. So just pop that straight out there. Nearly a quarter of the mild to heart collection now has already gone. Nearly a quarter of the stock has already gone here. Get in while you can. Um, the details are on the screen. £28.99. 898-280 is your item number. Let's make naans. So you can leave it just like this if you wanted to, but a variation that we do is quite nice, which is just the um, Kiba pizza. You can also put the authentic base, medium base onto it first if you want to as well. Um, I'm just going to chuck it straight on. It's, um, it's, it's, you could do this with anything. So you could actually use some tandoori chicken, maybe. Uh, one of the bases. Because we don't add any water, that's why you can actually spread this on your bread. And So why don't you add the water? Like, so what does the water do in all them other products that you think, well, actually, we don't need to add it to ours? Quite, why is the quite simply, Adam, it makes it cheaper for, for them, for the, for, the, for the manufacturer. You're paying for... You know, only half a jar of curry sauce, essentially, and, the rest, is and water. the rest is water. Whereas with ours, when you're saying this is your jar, this really is your jar. It's a bit like when you get a packet of crisps and half it's there. You, it's the it's truth. a so similar principle. So um, everything that you're getting in these jars is top quality, and it's all correct. everything yeah. that you will need in there. There's no like added water, so you're not yeah. diluting anything down. Everything is pure. Absolutely. As it were. So roughly speaking, you're about uh, the first ingredient is roughly about 40 odd percent onions or 40 odd percent tomato. So it is full on ingredients. Um, you know, we yeah, having tested that against others, potentially the the first ingredient is generally water with with uh, a little bit of others. So, yeah. You could only hear the voices in my ear at the moment <laughs> when you add the cheese. Uh, we've had some emails yeah. in at the moment. There's loads of them watching in the gallery. Uh, yeah. We've had some emails in about uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free. Yes. Uh, can you expand a little bit on that for us? Yeah, so all of the, um, all of the curry bases, they're all gluten, um, all of the, um, the marinades, they're all gluten, dairy, nut-free. So if you've got any allergies, I've got a, a, a dairy allergy, so tend to stay generally clear. You know, um, there's no added sugar either. So if you, you know, if you don't want the sugar, that type of stuff, then you, yeah, these are the ones for you. It's very, very simple ingredients. Uh, very few ingredients, but hard hitting, beautiful, full flavors. No, they really are. And it's also the presentation, it's only a little thing, but it's the presentation of them as well. They are, if you are gifting them, the sets themselves, from the mild to the medium to the heart, just look at the beauty. And I know it's only a little tiny thing, but it is the way they're prepared. They could have quite easily Pop them in a jar, put the lids on, a little label around the front saying mild, medium, homemade, bish, bosh, bash, and we're done. But we're not. Please don't let this price of £14.99 put you off. You are not buying inferior, you are buying top quality. We are talking gluten free, we're talking dairy free, we're talking nut free, we're talking no added sugar, we're talking no additives in there. Now, 
Another question that I always thought as well, because when you buy these from the shops and you think, oh, I'll have one of them for a tea in the week and I'll get that in. And you put it in the cupboard and you forget about it. Everyone does. And then when you're rummaging through your cupboard, you think, oh, I'll use that. And you're looking at you, oh, I can't use that now. What's the shelf life on these things? So these would be two years. Okay. So you've got a long time to use it. Hopefully they won't last two weeks. Um, but, you know, yeah, they're, they're two years. I mean, to be honest, they're, 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 it's amazing. I don't know. Mum hasn't told me because I talk quite a lot. <laughs> and Mum has not told me to the day how she's done it. So she's got a two-year shelf life with no artificial colours, ingredients, um, no artificial preservatives. It's just still exactly as I exactly had Exactly as it was, yeah. Um, can we just say, are you making <laughs> toasties <laughs> yeah, down there? Yeah, I was just going to say that, yes. Yeah, so with our leftover keema, sometimes what we do is we actually make toasties out of them, which is amazing. One of your friends called them Indian triangles, didn't they? Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is uh, our version of a... I call them English samosas, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, I mean, it's, you know, there's nothing better than when you've got a bit of curry left over from the night before, oh, uh, yeah, toasty. what are we going to do with it? Let's put it in a toasty, um, and it comes out really nice, bit of tomato ketchup, a little bit of, I like chilli sauce, you don't have to, and you just dip away, and it's good, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be free, I'd, I can't yeah. wait for them to be, yeah. to be, to be left. Now. Uh, I'm going to let you into another little secret. This studio has never been as busy as it is now. There are many people looking busy, but just standing there waiting for food. I'm not going to lie. That's when you know that you've got something good on your hands. Nearly 40% of the mild and medium has now already gone. The mild is the one along the top. The medium is this one down here. Now, remember, with your medium... Uh, you're also getting the chutney in there as well. Okay, so where, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with medium, mild? I don't mind. We'll start with the top row. Let's start with the top row. We'll keep it simple. Uh, let's start with your top row. So your top row, what are we getting? We are getting your classics in there. Your classic curry sauce, and you're also getting your buttered chicken in there as well. You are getting your papa dom chutney in there as well, and you're getting your sweet mango chutney. Is the papa dom chutney what we would find in the restaurants? Is it another... Um, How would you describe it for, for someone that's never yeah. had it before? So it is a bit different. Um, it's a slightly more um, tomato-based chutney. Okay. It's very, very, very Moorish. That's why I definitely can say very dippable, and that's why we called it the Poppadom chutney. So you can, yeah, you can dip away at it. It's not going to be again too spicy. It's not going to be too one way or the other. But it's got that lovely tomato base to it. It's beautiful. Yes, it. it does look very beautiful. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I think. Mm. Once again, I'll open them before the end of that, and we'll look at the cons consistencies as well. That's what we'll do it for. So that is your mild. Uh, then we've got your medium in there as well. Uh, I'm spooned ready. I'm good to go. They're asking me if I've got cutlery. Yes, I've thought ahead for this show. So uh, then we move down to your medium that we've got here as well. So uh, with your medium, you are getting in the kit. So we're getting this time, uh, you're getting your uh, tikka masala that's in there. You're getting your classic curry paste and your medium curry paste, your Punjabi curry paste in there. Then we're also talking about the papadum chutney in there as well. And we're also talking the mango and apple chutney. Then you're also getting your garlic marinade in there and you're getting your classic marinades as well. Now, let's talk about the marinades as we've just spoke about them. The marinades stuff, um, simple question. How would we work if we've never tried marinades before? Maybe we're buying into the kit. We're like, we understand what we're to do with the curry pots because we've tried them before. Yep. from other stores. The, pay, uh, the chutneys, we all know a chutney from Christmas and that sort of idea, but we've never tried marinades. How would we go about doing a marinade? So, the marinades, they're, they're more of a paste, so um, they're, they're a lot thicker. And with the marinade, what all you're doing is putting it with a bit of yoghurt, you could do some soy yoghurt or whatever it might be, a uh, bit of dairy, and coating your meat with that. So just mixing them together, coating your meat, and they're absolutely spectacular for any barbecue, um, or any, any evening meal, really. Um, and then you're literally grilling or frying or ovening off, and it comes out absolutely brilliantly. Shall we do some now? Shall we do some, yeah, some marinade? Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's, so should we let's show? Go for it. Let's go yeah. yeah, 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 let's, let's do, do it. Let's yeah. pass you one of those marinade packets. Oh, right. Are we allowed this is to? Are we allowed to? are we allowed to open these marinades? Are we, <laughs> are we allowed to open these marinades? Do we have a marinade? No, Which fine. one yeah, would you we like? Can, we can do that. Which and I'll one sort would you of like? A garlic one, please. A, a garlic, garlic one. We'll take it from the top and I'll swap it with somebody else. Uh, yeah, Mo, I'll pass it to you, Mo. 
we have to go along <laughs> and we have to anti back and all this and then so molly's currently cleaning it at the moment and we'll right. pass it in and well this is yeah. the way we have to do it thank this you this is why we keep the distance um so now oh i'm a marinade missing now Look, so you got a go. nice we'll picture of mum there and you oh when you go and you get you know you open it up and you see a, a bit of, a bit will, of glamour will mum be there. watching mum mum be watching yeah Hi, <laughs> Mum. What's Mum's name? Mum, Charlie. Hi, Charlie, Mum. Hi, Charlie, Mum. I'm loving this. You can come back any time, any time you wish. Uh, absolutely loving it. Right then, marinade, what are we up to? Yeah, so... So we've got uh, 450 grams of chopped chicken in this one here. Do you want to open that for me, please? Uh, yep. We are sous bit. chef today. Sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> this could go wrong. This yes. could go wrong. Out. We've not actually said you're actually husband and wife, aren't you? We are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we are. I'm a very, very lucky man because my mum, my mum makes the most amazing curries. Obviously, my wife also is a great, great cook. Oh, you so are a very, I'm, a very lucky. I'm man. a lucky, lucky guy. Thank there you. Go, so then I'll just pop all this marinade. Actually, could you do that? Because my hands. Oh yeah. There you go. So you put it all in there. All the paste. Hang on. And then you just get some yogurt, which some we have here. Yep. Where are you putting just this? Pop that in there. Shall I just use this? Yep. So you've got a whole packet of garlic marinade in there. So what you need is about, I'd probably say, two tablespoons of yogurt, depending. So yeah, that's about that. enough. Yep. You, you, you're quite high risk of having a domestic <laughs> on area, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> you carry away. I'm having oh. a lovely time over here. Absolutely. I'm just opening pots. I don't know if I'm allowed to. I'm just opening them. <laughs> now we're trying uh, the papadam chutney. I've already tried uh, sweet mango. It was phenomenal. Not going to lie. Oh, my word. Like that. that is... You can taste the tomatoes running through it. Yeah. You've got that slight bit of heat in there, but it's nothing overpowering. No, nothing. Do you see what I mean now about... When you get real flavours and real heats and, and, and real chilies and like, you know all these types of things, yeah. I don't know if you're meant to eat it straight out of the jar, but I hope. <laughs> I just want to show you the consistency as well. The consistency that's in there is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's not watery. You're getting. I apologise. There's nothing worse than seeing someone eat on air, but you've got to. Uh, don't worry. That will be coming home with me. So. Uh, you are getting so much in the garden. Let me show you the sweet mango as well, just so you can see the consistency that's in there. How beautiful is this? And because it's thick and creamy and juicy, a little's going to go an awful long way. You only need a little bits of this, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. When you're nibbling and eating with popcorn yeah, and things definitely. like that. Yeah, definitely. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, definitely. Just to, just to accompany it um, on a bit of cheese. Can you imagine a bit of cheese? <gasps> or a bit of cheese? Something like that. Um, yeah, it, it just... Just little bits. We do, you do get it a lot with um, <laughs> with the, um, the the tangy the lime pickle. People have it like too too um, kind of uh, what's the word neat too yeah. neat. Whereas if you just have a little bit with your curry, oh, it sets it, it off. Sets Amazing, it off. yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It is. If you've never tried it before and you think curry is spice and it's heat, it's really, really it's so Moorish. It's really really not right. Then. <laughs> oh, I've got stock updates to do. Let's talk about the big box. Okay, nearly 70%. Where did that come from? Nearly 70% of the mild to hot collection has already gone. So, what do we get? Let's break this down for you. Let's take this all the way from the bottom. You are getting the buttered chicken curry sauce on the bottom. Now this is a uh, this is a medium. It's beautiful. Uh, Caroline, our buyer, raves about this. It's all she's been going on about for the last few days. Buttered chicken, this buttered chicken, that. You can't keep her quiet. She loves a bit of buttered chicken now. But this is what it does to you. You find yourself having it time and time again. All think we'll have that again. Uh, then you've got the mild Punjabi in there. You've got the Naga chili, which is the super hot in there. You've got the Kima in there as well. Uh, you've got Kima. Uh, then you've got your Bombay potatoes in there as well. Then you've got all your chutneys. Now, I've tried the bottom two. It'd be rude not to try the top one. What's the time? 29. I've still got a half hour. Uh, so you're getting your three chutneys in there as well. Then you're getting your rice kit. It comes as a kit. This is magic rice. 
You've got, it is magic rice, like Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, but what you're getting is your magic rice in there. Uh, full instructions in the box as well. These work hand in hand. They work as a partnership um, and it is phenomenal. You are going to get that fluffy rice that you've always wanted, that you, where you go to and you think, oh, how did they do that? This is how they do that. And then you're getting your marinades as well that we saw uh, being used. And then we will go back to the demonstration shortly as well. 70% of the stock now has already gone. 28 pounds and 99 pounds. 898280 is your item number or you've got your options individually if you want to go for them the quickest and easiest place to do is jump to the website you've got your mild 14 pounds and 99 pence 645070 nearly half the stock of the mild has already gone then we've got medium nearly 60 percent of the stock has gone for your medium 14 pounds and 99 pence 645070 is your item number then you've got your heart 14 pounds and 99 pence again guess what it's the same item number 645070 is your item number for that as well. We are busy across the board. Right then, let's go and do some more cooking. What we got to show me this time? Yes, so <laughs> at the moment I'm cooking a vegetable korma with our mild base. So this is a mild base and I've got some chopped vegetables in there at the moment. Um, so I've just got a handful of stuff. Um, so peppers, onions, um, and um, mushrooms um, and what I've done is I've, I've just cooked it again the base just popped it straight in cooked it away added the vegetables to it um, and a little bit of um, cream so um, okay, this okay. is the coconut cream yeah so it's the hardened version okay so you can pop that straight in there gives it a nice sort of sweet for, sort of flavor um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add some double cream in there as well just to give it that um, sweeter sort of flavor and that, that milder flavour as well. So so this Pop is a, a little bit good time, Adam, to say that's what the classic you can do it with. So with the classic you can um, you can do absolutely anything with it. So you can whether it be in the mild, the medium or the hot, you can really sort of take them and explore with them and you can do a korma, you could do a Jalfrezi style, you could do a Balti style. And um, so you could do those restaurant style curries. But really and truly it's it's the Indian lady's gravy. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> it's the it's the be all and end all. You know, Sim could do it, Mum could do it, just with their hands behind their backs, type thing, and they're doing it every day. And it, and, it, and over so years, good. it just becomes perfection. And that's what it's all that experience you've got in this jar from Mum. From the jar itself, for the, for the kits that we've got, how many? How many meals can you make? How many portions can you get ish from one jar? In one jar, you're about four portions. Oh, so like a family, 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 family of four. four. Yeah, yeah. So you're not. Um, I mean, you're probably two of me. Um, <laughs> you know, so it depends on appetites and how thick you want it. But as a general rule, if you've got a family of four, you know, you'll be absolutely fine. If so, having said that, if you were single or yeah. um, just two of you, um, there's nothing stopping you making it you can then put it in the fridge for a couple of days goes nicer always goes nicer the next day okay. um, and then uh, even after that you can then freeze it really well um, also yeah. if you are if you're thinking good as we say families of four whoa hang look on before we'll, we'll leave that editorial <laughs> just for a moment look at that so that just just talk us through what that was again so this is so these are the kima toasties here so what you've got here is just some um, of our kima curry base so that's that green one there just popped it straight in the pan added some minced meat to it um, raw or pre-cooked handful of peas let it cook together for about 20 minutes you can pop it in the toasty machine have some uh, nice snack or on a naan bread with some uh, chopped vegetables, a bit of cheese on top, and then you've got your, your oh. keema curry naan bread oh pizza. Oh, my, look at this. And snap. that's the, um, the Punjabi rice as well. So oh, that's is that the Punjabi been, rice? Yep, yep, so yeah. it's fragrant and fluffy and really nice and sort of... It's got all the onions yep. in there, you can see. So that's that is it. literally just the rice and the mix. So you can see all the different um, components that you get in there. Really, really it easy to You can it. smell that coconut. That's coming off that as well, so it's quite oh, sweet. As I'm well. actually starving as well, Adam. <laughs> oh, it is, but you I, yeah. feel free if you want to nibble, nibble away. <laughs> no, Ignore no, what they've all told you is Ellie Land. I cannot, I cannot have stuff in my beard on <laughs> TV. Mom, this mom is outrageous. No, <laughs> Mum be shouting at the TV. Yeah, yeah mom I'm mom correct. Be taking stuff out as um, well. We are now nearly 80% of the large bundle of the mild to hot cooking collection, and remember, this is the only way of getting the keema in this. 
The only way of getting the keema and the Bombay potatoes, that's not in any of the kits either. Nearly 80% of this stock now has already gone. Very busy, £28.99, 898280 is your item number for these as well. Get it while you can. I have a funny feeling we have about 20 minutes left. I don't think there's going to be much left. So, we've got about 20 minutes on the clock. Uh, what else would you like to show me? So oh, sure. what I'm going to do now is our tikka masala. Oh, so you yes. can make this quite luxury as well. Um, so you don't have to just stick to the jars as it is. So what we can do is we're just going to take this one here. So we've got some chopped up chilli here. Uh, sorry, chopped up onions. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil. Just pre. So this is created. This is what we call the, um, the ultimate fake away. Tikka masala. This is the. So this is if the, you don't want to go out necessarily, yep. um, but you want to really create the luxurious, the proper feel. Um, this is how you do it. And is it easy to say? Oh, excuse me. I'm eating again. Uh, is it easy to say that if you've never cooked before, with the instructions that you've got on the back and the ingredients that you've got on the back of the packaging as well, you would still be able to achieve the same effects that? We're sort of we're doing in the studio at the moment. Absolutely. So when my mum sent this to me at uni, honestly, it, it, it was just deciding, it was just making sure it was idiot proof. If I can do it, <laughs> literally anybody can do it. Um, and it, you know, where Sims Sims doing things, it's very very simple, very very simple in, uh, steps. Um, and it and it is absolutely ideal. I'll tell you where it's ideal for midweek. You know, midweek you come home from yeah. you know the, and within 15, 20 minutes yeah, you'll have yourself a, an amazing already. an amazing dinner. Could we also is this sort of like a slow cook idea as well? Could we put it and make it marinade for the day? If we could put absolutely. it on in the morning, put it in the slow cook, and we could come back to it evening. Is that possible with these sorts of jars as well? Absolutely, because you haven't got the water in there. So if you have the water, it it becomes too watery because you've got the lid on and the slow cooker doesn't work. With this, it will. So a couple of usually a couple of jars, and you can mix and match. So if you buy a mild pack or a medium pack, um, you know, put both jars in, um, raw chicken in there on low. Go to work eight, eight, nine hours, whatever it is, and you and you're back, and it will come out really nice. Yeah. I'm also adding Stir a little it. bit of the marinade as well, um, because this sometimes gives a good flavour. So you can really use up a lot of it. Waste not, want not. Sounds <laughs> good to me. Sounds good. You want to use everything that's there as well. Uh, we are. Oh my word. We are limited stock on the mild to hot cooking collection. Limited stock, if you don't know what limited stock is, we have less than 10% of the stock left. £28.99 pence today, 898-280 is your item number for this. Think families. This is your family home cooked food that you're looking at at the moment. This will cater for you. It will cater for him, for her, for nans, for granddads, for aunts and uncles. And um, for those, once again, for those people that maybe have just tuned in now and they're thinking, I haven't got a family of four once again. Um, can we use half the jar, seal it, leave it in the fridge? How long can we leave it for Absolutely. then? So you've got about um, three days in the fridge okay. as, you, as you put it in, just back in. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but Go that's on. by law. As a family, um, we, we do it for longer. We go for a week or something and it's fine. I'm... Not allowed probably to say Obviously, that. Leave it for three days. Yeah. <laughs> each to their own, as I it don't were. Know how else to say it, yeah. But you you know. You, you I only <laughs> have one viewer and they know. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so each to their own. You know when a jar start going funny and you think, oh, I can't really use that. But three yeah. days, obviously. I mean, essentially we are with. talking spices and oil, which is literally what it was made for to keep things to keep, them keep things sorted. Yeah. It is amazing. It um, is absolutely So Adam, phenomenal. what I want to do is I want to I want to show the viewers the sizzle, how good this oh, yeah, looks when it comes yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I'm taking a Gloria, but so you've got your onions in the SVT. Yeah. You don't have to put the onions, but we've done that. No, and then fine. as you pour this in, it comes out. Do you see the texture of that? How good that is. All the onions are fresh in there. It's tomatoes, the ginger, the garlic, it's fresh. Um, it's all real homemade ingredients, as you can see. So it's not like any other jar you'll have. No, it is beautiful. Sold out. 
We are. Sorry, I shouted that. I got all excited <laughs> then. I took myself by so I got a cute angina and low potassium. I need to be careful, the doctor said. <laughs> need to be careful. <coughs> Sorry, I'm eating chuck meat. L literally, I've got half a jar has gone. I'm literally uh, already gone. Sold out. Back on extended delivery. A week extended delivery now. If you want it, I've still got a bit, but it's a week extended delivery. Get it what you can. £28.99. pence. Limited. It's not limited. It's back on extended delivery. Uh, right, we're staying back to you. What do you want to show me still? So I'm adding some um, chopped chilies to this. So you can. You can ante it up. You can heat it down if you wanted to. You don't have to. But it's it, you control the heat. As much as you want to, you can add whatever you like to it. So all I'm doing is letting um, letting the, the base, basically, or the sauce, just release itself. So cook all the water off that's already in there naturally um, and just let the oil just rise to the surface that's already in there. Um, so once that's done, then I will add my chicken. Oh, sorry, before I do that, I'm going to add some ground cashew nuts just to give it that luxury sort of feel. Although they are nut-free, the actual um, bases themselves. This is just to give it that ultimate bakeaway yeah. um, feel. So, so this is all. These are all options. You don't have to do this, um, but this is just how we would make the ultimate bakeaway. This is how we, you know, we uh, we give it the, the you know that 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 proper TLC touch. I love it. Um, it's honestly it comes out absolutely amazing. Um, so, okay. and the way we tend to do it um, with things like a tikka or a korma or something like that, we tend to um, marinate our chicken with our marinades yeah. and then grill or oven and That's then put right. it in. So you get That's that lovely literally. marinated. So it's full We've got flavour. Some pre marinated, but I'm also doing some in there as well, um, just so that you guys can see when we make chicken wraps and things like that at home. So do you need to marinate it overnight? Because when, when you use the word marinade, you sort of marinate for yeah. 24 hours, 12 yeah. hours, 6 hours overnight. Do you do that or do you, in the case of, you can stick it on and stick it straight in the I oven? I think the absolute ideal is to do it overnight. It's to do your, your, your 12 hours, your 24 hours. Um, however, I've never, personally, I mean, when, when I'm doing it for myself, I've never been uh, as organised enough. To, to do it. So I'm 20 <laughs> minutes in and it tastes it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we've had another question in as well from our call centre. So someone's called the call centre and they've asked, with the marinades, yeah. can you use them as sauces in the pan or are they just for marinades? Yeah, so if you like, um, um, if you've used paste before, so um, you can use them in that way. So you can actually make up a lovely, lovely curry from these pastes. Because um, they are marinade paste, so if you add your, your, you know, a tin of tomatoes, some onions, and that type of thing, it will. Um, you can, you yeah, can you can make it up, and it and it comes out like unbelievably well. I know I'm going to say it's because I'm quite biased because my <laughs> mum makes it, but you'll have to take my word for it. It is, yeah, it's unreal. No, they are. Uh, we've had an email in about the rice. Who's it from? From Peter about the rice. He missed earlier about the rice. Why does the rice come with the jar? It's from Peter's asking, he missed, the, he missed when we explained it earlier. So why does the uh, rice come with the jar? Yeah, so the, so the jar, so the rice is, is top grade rice. The jar itself is all those little bits that you need to make Punjabi style rice. So it's got your oil, your onions, your cumin seeds and that type of thing. And you just, rather than having to cut it all up and you're a bit busy and you're a bit tired on a Wednesday night, for example, you just pop that rice in with two parts water, Put your jar in, your magic jar, stir through, and it will just make you the most perfect Punjabi-style rice. And that's what the rice looks like when it has finished. And the rice is in the collection, which is on extended delivery as well. We've made toasties. We've made uh, pizzas, as it were, with, with naan bread pizzas that's there as well. And you can, you can make so much. Really start thinking out the box, because we all do it. The minute you think curry, you think curry, you think rice. They go together perfectly, but you really can start thinking out of the box with these as well. Right then, um, you know about this. You don't need me to go through all this again. Let's go back to demonstrations. We've got literally about 10 minutes left. Uh, what would you like to show me? Yeah, Perfect. so I've just popped this oh. one. So I've added, once I've added the, um, the chicken, the marinated chicken into the actual base, I've done just added some cream into it as well to give it that ultimate sort of luxury feel as well. And I've just managed to plate it up there I'm just going to add some is nice that, is that just been out, is that just come out that pan just that's literally out. just come out the pan Mo molly molly my love molly my love you see that little <laughs> dish that's just that's just come out the pan 
Don't be burning. <laughs> don't be burning yourself <laughs> now. But could you uh, bring it round? Oh, look at me, like Lord of the Manor. <laughs> So um, it's literally just this one. So here. Uh, we'll clean all that. So I'm that, gonna try it for you. I'm gonna there. I'm gonna give it a bash. <laughs> I might as well. The only perk, the only perk of this job that I've got <laughs> at the moment. Uh, so fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence for your mild is what we're looking at. Why well, didn't want the whole tray? I didn't want the whole tray. That's like their whole demo. Bless them. Uh, so. Oh no. Uh, sorry, I meant to read as well. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. You've got mild, you've got medium, and you've got hot as well, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. So, was this the one we've just done? Um, that's the one. That's the that's one. That's exactly the one. It is the one because it's still hot. So, ha ha ha. Right, let's, let's move that. Oh, that worked. Is it, this was the tikka masala. That's, that's the right, tikka yeah. masala, yep. Well, that's our version. <laughs> oh, my word. And I, I'm, I'm going to let you into a secret, and I know what you're going to say at home. Of course he's going to say that. I don't eat curry. I don't like... I don't like spice. And I'll let you into another secret. I was worried about this show, because I knew I'd have to eat. And I'm not a biggest fan of curry, because I don't like the spice. If I ever go to curry, I only have rice. I always have a biryani, because that's all I can cope with. Because the spice, I'm not a big spice fan. But this, oh Homemade. my word, <clears throat> it is beautiful. It really, really is. And you can tell it's homemade. Yeah. It's got that homemade warmth. It's really weird, but you've got that homemade warmth about it. Yeah. That it does feel like it's been sent. Like, as the story went, of how you got a hold of yours, like it's been sent from home. And you've just warmed it up and you're sitting there at home and you've got that ready-made curry. Absolutely. It hasn't changed one little bit. It hasn't changed. What, what was sent to me by mum, lovingly up, the M6, um, you know, is, is still the same. And it is proper, proper um, curry. <laughs> um, yeah, and it... <laughs> is that a bit warm, man? <laughs> I was hoping you'd talk for longer because that was oh, too sorry. awesome, my man. I was, uh, that was Not my way I was like, it's just come out of the pan. I thought, like, please keep talking, please keep talking. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else would you like to show, mate? So, at the moment, what I'm doing is, um, I'm doing the Bombay potato base, which is the mild base as well. So, oh. we've got the authentic, which I did the korma with. And we're doing the um, Bombay potato. So, what I did at home was, um, I parboiled some cauliflower and some potatoes in a little bit of turmeric um, at home just because it keeps, it keeps it crisp so it doesn't actually mush up which is what's happened to me before um, but yeah so I've just popped the Bombay potato base in the pan as it is so just literally warming that up warming that through it's got some nice mustard seeds in there as well which give it a nice um, flavor as well as the um, this is the jar which has uh, garlic but no ginger in there is that right that's right yep so um this one literally gives it that sort of garlicky taste so i'm just going to add the parboiled vegetables into it and literally that's it with this one it's so simple and so easy you can add spinach to it if you want to you can add any other vegetables if you like um, we've had people who said that they wanted to add salmon to it so they've added some um, salmon fillet with this on top bunged it in the oven it's just so versatile you can literally do so much with it um, we tend to eat it as a side dish at home with our main curry <laughs> you're doing beautifully keep so. going <laughs> But, um, but no, you're, you're, you can do so much with it, it's unreal. It's, it's just so quick and so easy and so good that, um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And, oh, there's another point. I, I like this, I like another point, keep yeah. going. <laughs> they're, um, all of the bases, as they actually come out, are vegan. Um, so, they're all vegan. vegan. So, if, you, if you've seen us, we're, we're using the tea, uh, chicken tikka masala, or if you want to use corn, or... Um, so, you know, soy pieces and those type of things or any vegetables, they're all vegan. You know, you could go ahead and, um, I'll tell you what is quite nice actually, paneer. You ever had paneer? But oh. you've never had paneer, have you? Yeah, paneer is an Indian it's like cottage cheese. Good. It's amazing, really, really nice. So in the marinades, so nice. one of my favorite, I eat meat actually, but that's one of my favorite things uh, in the marinades, um, paneer. We'll do that for you next time, Adam, you can yeah. try do you know it. When you, you do you know when you're back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll stop eating them. So, that rice is amazing. 
That rice is the... I don't know what it is about it. It is literally... There is something home... Homemade... Sorry, I'm still eating. There is something <laughs> homemade about it. And you know what I'm like? When I start getting excited, I start speaking quicker and I start getting all giddy. Because this is one of those projects. And hand on heart, you know what I'm like. I say it as it is. If I didn't, if I wouldn't eat it, I wouldn't eat it for a reason, and I'd be glorified, and I'd say, "Oh, this is amazing," and I wouldn't eat it. I've tried it, and I've said to you at the start of the show, I was nervous because I'm not the biggest fan of curry, and how can I stand here and tell you it's amazing, it's amazing, if I wouldn't eat it myself? But I have, and it's phenomenal. You won't be disappointed. This, oh, I've got to give me that part, then. I'll get it that quick. Uh, the I can tell you now, our teams in the offices are now placing orders. <laughs> They're like, we've seen it, we've smelt it. Obviously, at the end of the hour, there'll be an orderly queue, there'll be a metre apart, and I'll, I'll play mother, obviously. I'll get me a little penny out, and we'll have a good old canteen. We'll all get a chair out, and we'll sit in the car park in the rain, and none of it will go to waste. And that's a testament of a good show, for the sheer fact, when we all like it, it sold out in half an hour of a brand new supplier. Normally, that wouldn't happen. And now, how much has gone? A quarter of the extended stock has now already gone. You are creating... Let me move my spoon, because that's very unprofessional. You are creating all of this. A beautiful, beautiful platter and more. Right then, we've got about four minutes left. What would you like to show me? Right, so what I'm going to do is... Um, the last thing that I'm going to probably show you is the chicken wraps. Um, so what I did was I marinated the chicken earlier on today. Um, in the show and I've just popped it in the, the oven but I do have some other marinated chicken that we did overnight as well so I've got that as well so you can do that as well so you can literally I've got some wraps here just normal wraps they're not actually very they're all ripping apart which isn't very good it's all part of live tv isn't it it's all part of the live tv <laughs> experience just, just keep it was, going. we were doing so well they're not and ours <laughs> they're not our brand you see that's yeah, what it not. is we need to bring they're our own out not. no Sit so top. i'm going to carefully try and peel is these there ones. more in the range <laughs> um there there are there is more in the range yeah i'm trying to think what we don't we we do a tamarind sauce um so maybe these are things that we could bring um we could bring out there's a i'm trying to think what we don't have a lot of it is in there, but just with different, um, you know, in different combinations and things. Um, but, you know, if people want to see certain things, Mum's always good for a recipe. So if we can, we can start bringing out exclusives to, to the Hochanda viewers, perhaps. Because we do hand make it so we can do these things for the viewers. Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, what about now? What about yep, now? So that is the marinated chicken we did earlier on today. Do you want to show, you oh, show yeah. that off? Show yeah, it off. of course. So, Do you want me to finish ooh. this dish so you can pop it in yeah, here? Okay. So that's literally that just there. So you can proper see it's got that nice colour that. in there. It hasn't got any artificial colour, so it's not glowing red or anything like that, like you get in the, the restaurants and stuff like that. This is like the proper, the real McCoy. <laughs> Those kinds of things. So what I'm going to do is I did have some salad pre-prepared. So what we like to do at home, just literally just pop some You've got a minute, and, minute and 40 seconds left. Yep, no pressure. <laughs> I'm trying to do it nice and neat. Nearly 40 well. plent. <laughs> plent. <laughs> nearly 40. Oh, wow, I'm having a right old party here, yeah. Uh, nearly 40% of the collection. You stay watching this, I'll just talk over it. Don't worry about it. Um, nearly 40% of the extended stock now has already gone. Of that main collection, the mild to hot cooking collection, £28.99, pence. nearly a quarter of the stock has gone. The medium is the busiest in the blocks as well. You know them blocks of three that we had at the start of the show? The medium is the busy. Uh, nearly limited stock. Try the chutneys. They are phenomenal. Um, just before we go, we've got a minute left of the show. Take 30 seconds for me to sum up. If people are sitting at home now and they're thinking, I don't know, I've heard the, I've heard the man talk about it, I've, I've watched him eat it and he's, he said he raves about it. What would you say to those people that are still sitting on the fence? 
It's very, very rare to get the opportunity to have real home-cooked Indian food by somebody, a jar, even a jar that you could say, this lady made it, um, this is when it was made, it was made fresh, um, so everything you need to have the home-cooked experience is here. It is indeed. Thank you ever so much, The Pepe. It's been an absolute pleasure to spend the last hour with you. Oh, I'm loving this show. You can come back anytime. <laughs> Daily, I think you should come back. <laughs> Only when days I'm in. So don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. Oh, delicious.